The mother of a two-year-old boy who was dying right in front of her eyes told police she never took him to the hospital because she figured giving him some water would help. Last summer, we told you Chase Martin had been beaten to death. Police called it a case of torture. Channel 9's Field Sutton just got new evidence straight from prosecutors in Field. We are finally hearing directly from that little boy's mother. Martha, not directly, of course. She clammed up as soon as she went to jail. But before that, she did talk to police. And prosecutors here just gave me that transcript. Page after page, Victoria Tott's words, or as police call them, lies, are there in black and white. She told police, we were Googling Jace's symptoms, all his symptoms, and it was just, it was dehydration. That's what we thought. So one night in July of 2018, she made him drink some water before he went to bed. The problem was her two-year-old son had been sucker punched, according to the medical examiner, hard enough to drive his spine through his intestines. Throughout that interview, the little boy's mom never does say why she wouldn't take him to the hospital. Detectives believe it's because she knew she and her allegedly abusive boyfriend would go to jail. Jonathan Persglove is accused of causing Jace's deadly injuries. His own brother interviewed with the cops, telling them, Jonathan holds a lot of aggression in, and when somebody ticks him off, he's that type of person that will be mad at the whole world. But he claimed the accused killer had never been violent toward a kid. His aggression has always been towards grown people, he told police. For months, investigators pieced together an aggravated manslaughter case holding Jace's mom and her boyfriend responsible for the toddler's slow and painful death. The brother eventually admitted Jonathan's been in so much trouble and I didn't even know about it until he did it. He's done so much stuff in his life that I didn't even know about. The first glove is still in jail. Toth is out on bond awaiting her trial. Live in Orlando this evening, Field Sutton, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.